today I'm in East Souk Park on Vancouver Island and we're gonna do the coast trail it's roughly 10 kilometers to Cabin Point and I'll come back to the parking lot after when I looked it up online it was considered a hard trail you just got to bring enough water and uh, some ibuprofen and your knees will be fine honestly now normally East Souk Park has really amazing views of the Olympic mountains over here but there's some weird fog going on I think it's because the uh, water temperature is a different temperature than the air Ten thirty-five a.m. Let's go. So the first stretch of this hike from Alard Farm to Petroglyph Point is pretty beginner friendly. You see a lot of people walking their dogs, a lot of families, big groups, not a lot of people all by themselves. Once you get past Petrick of Point, uh, definitely gets a lot more technical, a lot more ups and downs, a um, bit more of a grind, but it'll be fun. made it to Petroglyph Point. That took, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. You got a nice sign here. Hmm. So here at Petroglyph Point, pretty much they scratched the rocks until exposed the lighter crystals underneath and they made all types of designs. Here we have, I think it's a sea lion. What do you think it is? They're pretty faded because they're up to 3,000 years old, but they don't really know how old they are. What the hell was that? You guys hear that? Okay. Next up, we're gonna head over to Cabin Point. Okay, you guys are gonna start hearing me breathe. Some people like that. Actually, most people don't like it. Pretty hot out here. It's all uh, cliffside. It's radiating the heat down by the water. It's not too bad, but I'm getting sweaty. Good news, there are whales. I just saw one. I think it was a humpback. It's over there. I can't really get a shot of it now, but hopefully there's another one that pops up. Bad news. I'm low on water. Hiking 101, bringing up water.
That's an eagle. Oh, there's another one right there. Calling out. Ooh. We've made it to Cabin Point. It's not that far. It's just kind of a bit of a treacherous go, so. There's some pretty good artwork in here. It's ham hands. Hams for hands. cabin itself is actually not that interesting. Uh, they used to put out a bunch of traps and then I guess the good old boys used to stay here and get pickled at night and fish during the day. Okay, we're almost done here at cabin point. So we're gonna load up and head back to the farm. There's a nice little cove here. There's a canyon with water flowing in and out of it. The loop says it should have been two hours and 50 minutes to return to the car, but I think you gotta be hauling ass to do that. We got some big stumps. They took our wood. They took our wood. We missed this one. Yeah, it's a lot of wood. I tell you what. Woo. We made it. We made it back to the parking lot. It was about 10 kilometers, 7.2 7 miles. And it was definitely a good hike, I would recommend it. And I just wanted to remind everyone that it's really easy to come out and do these activities like I'm doing. You really don't need much. All you need is a car, gas, good hiking boots, good pants, uh, a good hat, some shades, water, maybe a satellite phone. I would bring food as well, maybe some water tablet, a first aid kit. You need a bag, smaller bag to pack out all your garbage. You'll need a map also. That's about it. That's all you really need to get out here and enjoy the wilderness like I just did. But if you're feeling a little lazy, it's totally fine to just hit that subscribe button and just sit back and enjoy the adventure with me. So until next time, goodbye. I don't know. Minute to cat, cowboy point. I call it the cowboy point. I need more water. <laughs>